nerves of the forearm and the hand. The first nerve is the radial nerve, and the radial nerve has superficial branch and the deep branch. As regards superficial branch passes lateral to the radial artery in the forearm, it divides into five dorsal digital nerves which supply the lateral two-thirds of the dorsum of the hand and the back of the lateral three and a half fingers up to the middle phalanges. Only middle phalanges, the remaining supplied from anterior by medial nerve. Then deep branch of the radial or posterior interosseous nerve. It first supplies the extensor carpi radialis brevis and the supinator muscle before piercing it. Then the branches of the posterior interosseous supply all muscles of the back of the forearm except brachioradialis and the extensor carpi radialis longus, which he takes from the main trunk of the radial nerve. The muscles which are supplied from the posterior interosseous, number one, extensor carpi radialis brevis, supinator muscle, extensor pollicis brevis, extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis longus, extensor indices, and extensor carpi ulnaris. This is the radial nerve, start from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus, Bus in the axilla and then directed through the spiral groove posterior to the humerus. Radial nerve injury may be injured in the axilla. The main trunk of the radial nerve may be injured by pressure of crotch called the crotch palsy in the middle of the upper arm by fracture shaft humerus and may injure the radial nerve in the spiral groove. Then at the elbow region, fracture dislocation of the head of the radius and the posterior dislocation may injure the posterior interosseous branch of the radial nerve. Effect of injury, injury to the main trunk of the radial nerve results in the wrist drop due to paralysis of all extensors of the wrist. Injury of the posterior interosseous only, the extensor carpi radialis longus will be spared from paralysis because it is supplied from main trunk of the radial nerve and it can maintain extension of the wrist and no more wrist drop. This is a fracture shaft and this is injury of the radial nerve and the spiral groove and this is the deformity wrist drop. Then median nerve in the forearm it leaves a cubital fossa between two heads of pronator teres muscle crossing in front of the ulnar artery but separated from the ulnar artery by ulnar head or deep head of pronator teres muscle. From this point, the median nerve is sent through the forearm between flexor digitorum superficialis and the flexor digitorum profundus. Branch of the median nerve in the axilla or upper arm has no branches. Branches in the forearm muscular to the following muscles. Pronator teres muscle, flexor carpi radialis, Palmaris longus if present, flexor digitorum superficialis. Then palmar cutaneous branch arises about one inch above the rest and sends on the surface of flexor retiniculum to supply the lateral two thirds of the palm of the hand. Then gives the anterior interosseous nerve arises from the median nerve as it emerges from between two heads of pronator teres muscle and supply the following. Supply the flexor pollicis longus, lateral half of the flexor digitorum profundus, and the pronator quadratus muscle. This is the median nerve arises by two roots in the axilla from the lateral and the medial course of the brachial plexus, descend in the upper arm and has no branches, then descend in the forearm, passes here between two heads of pronator teres muscle. The median nerve in the hand gives the lateral branch supplies all thinner muscles except adductor polishes. It divides into three digital branches which supply the thumb and the lateral sides of the index and gives the twigs to the first lumbrical muscle. The medial branch divides into two branches also to supply the adjacent sides 
of the index middle and ring fingers and they give the branch to the second lumbrical muscle. This is the median nerve, passes deep to the flexor retinaculum inside the carpal tunnel and supply the lateral two thirds of the palm and supply the lateral three and a half fingers up to the dorsum of the terminal phalanges. Median nerve injury, the deformity or ape hand or monkey's hand. The median nerve may be injured in two sides. In supracondylar fracture of the humerus at the elbow or from laceration at the wrist or carpal tunnel syndrome. Effect of injury, median nerve injured at the elbow. Pronation of the forearm is lost due to paralysis of both pronator teres and pronator quadratus. Flexion of the wrist is weak due to all flexors of the wrist are paralyzed except the flexor carpi alnaris and the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus. Then ulnar deviation during the flexion of the wrist due to contraction of flexor carpi alnaris. Loss of opposition of the thumb and the other to the other fingers, this is monkey's hand. Then median nerve injured at the wrist, only the thinner muscles except adductor polishes and the lateral two lumbricals are paralyzed. There is loss of opposition of the thumb to the other fingers. This is the ape hand or monkey's hand. Carpal tunnel syndrome, bringing pain or pains and needles along the distribution of the median nerve to the lateral three and a half fingers and the weakness of the thinner muscles. Thinner muscle, and this is lateral three and a half fingers are affected. Ulnar nerve, it passes behind the medial epicondyle and enter the forearm between the two heads of flexor carpi alnaris. Near the rest, it passes on the surface of flexor retinaculum just the lateral to pisiform bone, where it ends by dividing into superficial and the deep branches. It passes outside the carpal tunnel. Branches has no branches in the axilla or in the upper arm. Muscular branches to supply flexor carpi alnaris and the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus. Sensory branches, palmar cutaneous branch to supply the skin of the medial third of the palm, dorsal cutaneous branch to supply the skin on the back of little finger and the medial half of the ring finger. Superficial branch of the ulnar nerve, supply the little finger and medial half of the ring finger. Deep branch of the ulnar nerve in the hand, supply three hypothenar muscles, then 10 muscles, four dorsal interossei, a three palmar interossei, as well as medial two lumbrical and the adductor polishes muscle. This is the ulnar nerve in the hand, supply hypothenar, medial third of the palm, medial one and a half fingers, palmar surface, and dorsal surface. Ulnar nerve injury may be injured as it lies behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus due to posterior dislocation of the elbow joint. It may be injured in laceration at the rest. The motor effect, the anterior and the medial two lumbricals are paralyzed, results in claw hand deformity. Injury near the wrist, clawing is very strong in the ring and the little fingers. Injury at the elbow, the clawing of the ring and the little fingers will be less. Medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus will be also paralyzed. In late cases of ulnar nerve injury, atrophy and the wasting of the interosseous, then sensory effect, there is loss of sensation over the medial third of the hand and the medial one and a half fingers. This is ulnar nerve injury. This is a clung here in the hand. And this is loss of movements of the interosseous muscles.